hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel my name is victoria acn your favorite fashion design tutor so on today's class we will be making this beautiful dollman dress so we just get into it without wasting time so i have my fabric here already this one on the table is for the bag for the bag it's been folded into two and then i will place another one on top of it for the front so i place the second one and this one i place now it's also folded into two all together it's folded into four so the first measurement we are going to enter is our my bust point my bust point is 10.5 and then i'll enter my waist point which is 17 and then my e point from 17 i'll measure 9 for my e point and then i'll measure my full length i want my full length to be 40 so i'll, I'll measure 40 I'll repeat the same measurement this other side and draw a straight line. 10.5, 17, and 9 for my hip line, and 40 for my full length. So I'll draw a straight line too. Mark the two points. This is my bust point. And this is my waist line. This is my hip point. And then my full length. Then I'll add two inches for folding. So we are going to enter our shoulder measurements and our sleeves. You know, this is a dollman dress. So both the shoulder and the sleeves are cut together. It, it, it is cut together, the sleeve and the shoulder. But to know the exact points I want my sleeve to stop, I'll first mark my shoulder, which is 16 divided by 2 is 8. Make sure you use your own measurements. And then after marking 8, I'll now mark 10 because I want my sleeve to be 10 inches long. So all together is 18. Yes. So my sleeve is at 18. And then I'll add two inches for folding. The next thing we are going to mark is our neckline. So I want my neckline. This neckline specifically now is is for the back for the back it's going to be three and a half inches wide and then one inches deep so mark the three and a half and then one inch and i'll use my ruler That's for my back neckline. And then we go over and mark our sleeves. How wide you want your sleeve circumference to be. For me, I want my sleeve circumference to be 10 inches wide. So I'll mark 10 inches. And then... After that, I'll enter all my measurements, my circumference. For my boss, my boss divided by 4, I'll enter the measurements. My boss 
my boss divided by four plus three inches allowance you know it's a dormant dress and you want it to be free on you so these three inches will be both for sewing and for the keys and then i'll come down to my waistline and enter the same measurements i mark at my boss point And then I'll come to my hip line and enter my hip measurement divided by four. You know, this this my this fabric is folded into four. So I enter my hip measurement divided by four. And I'll also add three inches allowance for sewing and for his. And I'll come back, I'll come down to my full length and mark the same thing I mark at the hip point. Please use your own measurement when you are doing your own. And then I'll draw a line to join all the markings. So I'll first draw After that, I'll come to the I'll come to the angle to draw a line to meet this other line like so, and then I'll use my tape and mark and go in by one inch, one inch. And then I'll use my cuff ruler to draw a cuff. And then at the shoulder line, I'll come down by 1.5 to get my shoulder slope. So 1.5 for my shoulder slope. I'll connect it to the neckline like so. And then I'll contour the line. After that, I'll mark my front neckline. Remember, this was for the back neckline. So I'll mark my front neckline now. So for the front neckline, I'll come down to the to my bust point and mark two inch two inches. And then use a ruler to connect it to my neck width which is 3.5 inches like so and then i'll come down i'll mark two inches down to the hemline this is for front take note this marking i'm marking down is for the front I use my ruler to connect the line down to my hem line. This 
part now. We are going to replace it with a collar. You understand when I fix when we start sewing. So after connecting, that's all the line. So I'm going to cut out the front line first before before cutting out the back. So I'll cut out the front now. Okay, I'll just cut out the back together first before cutting out the front neckline. Just take note of where I'm cutting. So I'll cut out the back neckline. This is for the back. And then the shoulder slope is both for front and for the back. Then I'll cut out this other side. The reason why my line is almost straight is because my bust measurement is almost the same thing with my hip measurement. So when you are making your own, it may not be straight like mine. So don't worry about it if your own is not straight like this. Just make sure you are using the right measurement, your own measurement. So, this is it. I've cut out everything for the back. And now I'll cut out the front. I'll bring out the back so I can cut out the front. I'll just cut it. Just carry it up and cut it out. This one I'm cutting now is only the front. Then I'll cut out the hem. So this is what we have. The front is two pieces, two pieces. While the back is one single piece. So the next thing we are going to do is to so this is go to a machine and join it together you place you place your front or your back with the right side facing each other and make sure that the shoulder match with the, the two shoulders match so i'm going to sew the front piece and the back piece together. So we start, I'll start sewing from the shoulder. So I'll take this to my machine and run a stitch on the shoulder using half inch. I'll do the same thing to this other side. So I've joined the front and the back together at the shoulder using half inch. And this is it. This is what we have. Then the next thing I'll do is to join the front and the back together at the side, the two sides. So I'll sew starting from the sleeves, I'll sew it down to the end and I'll bring it back. So I've sewn the front pieces and the back piece together at the side using half inch. And then I'll go ahead and notch my underarm where we make a cuff. I'll do the same thing to this other side. I'll notch the cuff. Be careful not to cut into your seam.
So after that, the next thing I'm going to do is to fold my is to fold my sleeve. To fold my sleeve to hide the rough edges. Remember, I added two inches allowance for folding at the sleeve. So I'm going to fold one inch twice and then sew it. So I finished folding the hem of my sleeve. So we're going to keep this aside and cut out 2.5 inch on fold. 2.5 inches on fold. If you open it up, it will be 5 inches. If you open it up like this, it will be 5 inches. Then you fold it to be 2.5. Half inch for sewing allowance and two inch for the main color. So, and then the length of this is the length of your dress times. It's more than times two. So what I did is that when I was cutting, I used the full length of my Ankara. You know, Ankara is usually 45 inches in length. So I cut two pieces of it and then joined at the center. See where I joined. Now I will go ahead and iron a, a paper stick. On this color so I have iron a paper stay on my color the next thing is to fix it on the dress to fix this on the dress I'll take the I'll start by I'll start fixing from the center of, from the center back. So I'll just place the points where I join and place it on the center back. So this way I join, I'll place it at the center back. Then I'll pin it down. You can pin your collar down to your end line, but I will not pin mine. I will use my hand and control it while sewing. So I will go ahead and join it to my dress now. So I finished sewing the collar. Next thing I will do is to fold my end line. Remember we added two in. Two inches of folding. Added two inches of folding. So I'll go ahead and fold two inches. One inch two times. So I'll fold my hem line now. I folded my hem and I'm gonna have to iron my dress. So make sure you iron everything whenever you are sewing, iron everything. Because that will make your work to be very neat. Then we're going to keep this aside. And then this for my pockets. I've already cut it out. So I've cut out 10 inches by 10 inches for my pocket. Then I cut out 2.5 on fold. So I'll go ahead and sew this to my pockets. Fix it like this. I'll do it to the two pockets. Okay, this is my pocket. Finish sewing the black on top. So the next thing is to fix it on the dress. But before that, I've ironed half inch round the pocket. So I'll just place it on the dress like this and sew it round so to place it 
call it the dress. I'll measure three inches from my waistline. As my waistline is 17 plus three inches is 20. So I'll measure 20 and mark. And then I'll measure one inch from the center front. That's where the, the pocket will start from. That's three inches from the waistline and then one inch from the center front. And I'll place my pockets like this. Starting from that one inch I measured from this 20 inches and the one inch. So it's going to be like this. I'll do the same thing to uh, this other pocket, this other side, and then I'll stitch it around and bring it back. So I've sewn my pockets. Actually, place it on the fabric and sew on top. So when you place yours, you can use pin to hold it down first before you take it to sewing machine and sew it. And then the next thing I'll do is to sew my casing. So to sew the casing, I turn to the wrong side of my dress and I'll measure my waistline and draw a line and then I'll place my casing. The... I've already created a casing and I ironed the two sides by half inch. I cut out two inches and then I ironed the two sides by half inch. So I'll measure my waistline which is 17. Then I'll mark it down. I'll measure 17 this side as well. And then I'll draw a straight line. I'll do the same thing to the back of my dress as well. So the reason why I'm doing my own inside the at the wrong side of the dress is because I don't want the rope to be showing. But if you want your rope to be showing and dangle, you tie it and it will be dangling. You can put your casing at the right side, on the right side of your dress. But, but I don't want my own to be showing. That's why I'm doing it on the wrong side. So I'll press it like this. I'll first sew this side and then I'll turn over the same way you sew by us. Uh, starting from where your collar stop. I have finished sewing the casing, the rope casing. So and I also created a rope for that purpose. So I'll now pass the rope through the casing. Like so. So the next thing I will do is to fix a press button on the collar. This is my press button. So I measure from my shoulder line to where I want the opening to stop where I want the opening to stop. 
then I'll fix my press button from there. You want it to start like right? this. Then, then it will be okay for me. And then from that then I'll mark, I'll mark four, four inches from there down to the end. So that's the point here. I fix. I will fix my press button, and that's just it. After the press button, the dress is ready, and you can rock it. So thank you very much for watching. So if it's your first time seeing my video, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. And also, don't forget to like this video, share it to your friend, and comment if you get any value. Drop a comment. See you in the next video. Bye.